heal the world, make this a better place for you and for me and the entire human race. There are people dying, but if you care enough for the living, make a better place for you and for me. Hello everybody, Lady Cheryl here. I'm just coming on here for a few minutes to wish everybody a happy Mother's Day. And I am a very happy mother. I saw four of my grandchildren today and two of my children and I talked to everybody. So I'm really, really happy. In this video, I'm going to share with you how I'm prepping my uh, large totes to grow sweet potatoes as soon as I receive the slips that I ordered from eBay. I hadn't planned on growing any sweet potatoes this summer because of the fact that I have a whole lot canned and it's just me. So anyway, for my emergency garden, I thought I would grow some sweet potato slips. So I ordered some Beauregard sweet potato slips from eBay. And so I'm getting everything ready. So when they get here, all I have to do is just plant them. Okay, let's get started drilling holes in the bottom of this tote because I'm preparing it for uh, my sweet potato slips. So I'm just simply drilling holes in a random pattern to make sure I have adequate drainage. Okay, so you can see here that I've drilled a lot of holes in the bottom of the container. This is a 30 gallon container and I put small holes because in the summertime, and that's the time to grow sweet potatoes, they like a lot of heat. In fact, in zone 8A, you plant your sweet potato slips in May. So tomorrow is May, and I've ordered the slips, and they will be here any day. And then I want to have this all ready to go. So all I have to do is just plant them. Now, normally I grow my own sweet potato slips from potatoes that I've grown from the previous year. But I had a nice harvest last year. And I pressure canned them. So I have plenty. This is for my emergency garden the food that I'm going to be donating to my children, grandchildren, senior citizens, my friends and neighbors. But of course, my children and my grandchildren come first. Okay, now I wanna show you something. Flip this over so you can see that this is a 30 gallon container. And uh, I'm going to put about 10 sweet potato slips, maybe 12 in here. And then my other container that I showed you earlier at the back of the food forest, I'll put the rest of the slips in there. Okay. Did you know that you can grow sweet potatoes or any type of potato in wood chips? You can grow them in leaves, hay, straw, and of course soil. So I've been saving these leaves. I was going to use them to mulch some containers, but then when I decided to grow some emergency sweet potatoes, um, I said I'll put them in the bottom of this container and the five months or four and a half months that they'll be growing in here, they will break down because there's going to be soil across the top. And another thing I wanted to tell you is you have to harvest your sweet potatoes before a freeze, okay? So you're going to watch your vines and you are going to watch and see when they start to die back. And when they totally die back and start looking brown, kind of like these leaves here and yellow, um, it's time to harvest them. In any event, you want to make sure that you harvest them before we get a freeze. Did you know that you can eat sweet potato vines? You sure can. I stir fry them with olive oil, onion, and garlic, just like I do spinach. It is delicious. Okay, just wanted to share that with you. Hey everybody. Hello everybody, this is little Andre here. He came to visit me for Mother's Day. You wanna say something? Hi. 
and we found some compost that I had on the other side of my property where my husband used to store his boat. Anyway, my son got it and moved it for me and so this is some really, really good rich compost that I'm going to grow my sweet potatoes in. You wanna come over, baby? This is a snail, which will metamorph into a slug. So we wanna put that over there, baby. So you wanna go through your compost and make sure that you don't have anything in there that you don't want. This has been aging for over, my mask is in the way. Sorry about that, guys. This has been aging for over two years. So this is rich compost. And I will mix this up with potting mix, topsoil, and perlite, and then we'll grow our sweet potatoes in here. But it won't be in this wheelbarrow. Come over here, guys. Come on, uh, yeah. Come on, Layla. These are the two tubs that I am preparing for our sweet potato slips. And I already shot some footage when I put some holes in this one. Okay, an update on the Kasava. My son just uh, moved it for me in front of the greenhouse. And I think I shared with you, I saw two pieces coming up here and here. And so it's a piece right here. So yeah, so we're gonna have four nice pieces. And they're gonna catch up. And then we're gonna make tapioca pudding for my grand angels. You wanna say hi, Layla? Hi. How about you all wish people a happy Mother's Day? <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. Okay, bye now. Hi guys, this is what a morning glory seed pod look like. My morning glories have gone to seed. They died back and I'm going to go ahead on and collect them. And as you can see here, my son and my beautiful granddaughter, Alayla and Lou, Brian. Oh, uh, somebody got plumbers behind when it been over. <laughs> I'm going to put that on the video. No. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm going to take it out. <laughs> anyway, we're pulling the morning glories off. They went to seed. And as you can see here, the vines died off. They've been out here since January, so maybe February. So now i got to figure out what else I'm going to plant here. <sighs> May do like a grapevine. I don't know. The pansies are looking pretty good. However, they are, they're dying back because pansies don't Ow. like real hot weather. <laughs> so we're gonna get rid of those soon. Oh, so my green angels, they came and they pulled out the weeds uh, right in this area. And there's still a few left, but they did a good job. And they also removed the morning glories that were going to seed around here. I gotta think of something else that I'm gonna put on them. And for a treat, I gave them some fresh, homegrown strawberries. You wanna taste your strawberry to see it? Yes. Oh, you got a big one. Which one are you gonna taste first? How does it taste? It's super sweet. Thank you. Okay, Andre, you wanna taste one of yours? Which one are you gonna taste first? The little one? Yeah. How does it taste? Watermelon? Like watermelon. <laughs> because it's red. Yeah. And it has seeds it sweet? in it. But actually the darker berries are the sweetest ones and the smaller ones are sweeter than the bigger ones. Okay. You all want to thank everybody for watching? Thanks for watching. watching. Bye, Bye now. <laughs> So today was a great day. I got a chance to spend some time with four of my grand angels, Andre of Layla. And here is Brian and Bria. Bria was just amazed how much everything had grown in the greenhouse. And my daughter Bria and Brian's mom made me a, a Mother's Day cake. And I got some cash, guys. Okay, I want to wish everybody a happy Mother's Day. And I hope you all are doing great. This concludes this video. I appreciate you taking time out of your schedule to watch it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and tell your friends about my channel. God loves you and I love you too. Thank you for watching. Bye now. The end.